My stepsister is marrying my ex-boyfriend and she needs me to attend and pretend I'm cool with her because people are giving her a hard time for hurting me. My 25 female stepsister, 23 female, is getting married to my ex, 26 male. We were as close as any two sisters growing up. My mom and her dad met when we were 8 and 6 and we got along really well from the get-go. My ex-boyfriend and I broke up two years ago. He cheated on me and I found out about it a week after he proposed to me. Five to six months later, stepsister told me that she and ex-boyfriend have started dating. I couldn't believe my ears. I was very angry at her. But the rest of the family, mom, stepdad and two half-sisters, didn't think it was a betrayal at all. And my mom once yelled at me to grow up and move on. I gradually distanced myself from my stepsister without making a fuss. I just poured myself into my studies instead and hid behind the I'm swamped excuse. I started dating my current boyfriend, 25 male, about 10 months ago. The only problem is that stepsister used to have a huge crush on him, and she still to this day text and DM him. They never dated. They haven't told anyone in my family that I'm seeing someone. Stepsister and ex boyfriend got engaged, and they have sent the wedding invitations last month, wedding in June. I didn't RSVP because I don't want to attend. Last week, mom asked me to visit. When I got there, mom was waiting with stepsister, her BFF, and maid of honor. My half sister is an ex boyfriend's sister. It was an intervention. My mom started by saying that I needed to stop alienating myself from everybody and get over the hurt. Stepsister is getting married and she wanted me as a bridesmaid. I told them no. Stepsister started crying saying I'm ruining her wedding. She asked if it has to do with me not having a plus one because she could pair me with one of her ex-boyfriend's single best man and I wouldn't feel only them. I got really angry and told her I didn't want to go to her wedding because I don't like her. She started crying again, calling me bitter and a hag for purposefully wanting to hurt her on her big day. I left. My mom called me later saying if I didn't show up, at least as a guest, I'm cut off the whole family. You see, they need me there so people see there's no hard feelings between us and that I have blessed their marriage because she has been getting a whole lot of grief from the family for what she did to me. I'm so angry now. What's between stepsister and I is broken beyond repair. Why is it so hard for them to understand? Plus, I do have a plus one should I decide to turn up and stepsister would regret the day she invited me then. I have half a mind to do it and ruined her day. I love my mom and my sisters, but I'm tired of them choosing my stepsister's side. And I know mom is serious that she would cut me off if I didn't attend. She loves my stepdad very much. And upsetting stepsister means upsetting him. Any advice on how to tackle this? Because however I turned it, I am the loser. Now for the top advice. Screw them. I wouldn't go. They'll all cut you off if you don't go? Awesome. Let the trash take itself out. I need to reach this point of not caring if my family goes no contact with me. A family that would even make a threat like this is a family not worth staying in contact with. They are awful and dysfunctional and filled with hate. At this point, tell your mom that if her stepdaughter means more to her than you, her own daughter, then she can go screw herself and you no longer consider her your mother. Also tell her that family does not get into a relationship with another family member's ex. Especially after that ex cheated. Also tell her that there is something mentally wrong with your ex for still wanting to be part of the family. Please don't give in and go. They're desperate to have you there because what she did was socially unacceptable. And in order to not look like she was involved with him prior to her breakup slash backstabbing sister, she needs you to turn up with a smile and prove it's okay. But don't, because it's not. And I doubt very much that they'll cut you off if they are this desperate for you to forgive them. That's the rumor that's going around apparently. That he cheated on me with her. And by having me as a bridesmaid, stepsister is trying to save Faze. I don't know why she cares really. Am I reading your original post correctly that stepsister is currently texting your current boyfriend who is her ex-crush? If that's correct, then stepsister wanting you to attend wedding is not about your approval. It's about stepsister wanting to win in some weird competition she has with you. She doesn't know I'm dating her old crush, but yes, she still reached out to him. I'm not ready to introduce him yet to my family because I'm enjoying our relationship and I'm not ready for their reaction. Treat yourself to an amazing vacation on the day of her wedding. If your mother would cut you off, let them. I know it's the right thing to do. I just love my family. Next story. 
I ruined my sister's relationship by telling the truth about her past to her boyfriend. Me 22 male and my sister 24 female have never had a good relationship. She was always the problem child, and she has even worse relationship with our parents. During her time in high school, she picked up a lot of bad habits. She started hanging out with the wrong people, started skipping school, started trying substances, and sneaking out from home and lying to our parents all the time. She was also really good at manipulating guys. She was always seeing multiple guys at once, had a lot of boyfriends, and cheated on most of them. It was getting worse over time. It started with bad grades, then stealing money from our parents. It even got to a point when my dad had to pick her up from police station where she was high in a holding cell. She wasn't addicted or anything, but she was using sometimes. Our parents tried hard to help her, get her to counseling or therapy sessions, but it was pointless. When she dropped out of high school for the second time, they finally had enough and kicked her out. That was four years ago, and we haven't heard from her since. Until now. About three months ago, it was my birthday and out of nowhere, I got a nice wish card from her. We started texting and calling for some time, and she agreed to visit me and our parents. She came home last Friday for a weekend and brought her boyfriend with her. She told us she turned her life around. She is working as a caretaker got her own apartment, car, and everything. It was really nice to talk to her after such a long time, and our parents were so proud of her. It was great. While she was talking with my parents, I started chatting with her boyfriend. He told me they were together for about a year now and they are really happy. He's a really nice guy. When we got deeper into the conversation, he admitted that he was afraid to meet us, but it's relieved because we are actually really nice. I asked why he would be afraid. And he told me that my sister described us as really bad people forced her out of her home when she was young. We talked about it more and she told him so many lies and twisted up pretty much everything. And didn't even mention what she had put our parents through. She even told him that he was the second guy she has ever slept with. Which is such a BS. She could have easily been with more than 30 guys. I couldn't handle it anymore and I told the poor guy the truth. And described everything from my point of view. Next morning, my sister and him had a really bad argument, and he broke up with her and left. She was furious with me. She told me she finally found a guy she loved and I ruined everything. She said she was lying to him because she was so embarrassed of her past self and was afraid he wouldn't want her anymore if he knew. She said she changed so much and is a completely different person and wanted to put her past behind her. I feel really bad now, because I saw her after such a long time and she was finally happy. I didn't want to lie to him, but now I know it wasn't really my business to tell him everything. I want to fix this and still be able to talk to my sister, but I don't really know how. Your sister made you all out to be the terrible people and lied to her boyfriend. Although she isn't the wrong, there is no fixing this. She's going to blame you even though her issues and lies cost this. There's not much you can do to fix this other than give it time. Yeah, it doesn't seem like she's changed a lot. Maybe she's gotten rid of the addictions, but the personality is still there. Nah, she got caught in a lie. She could have just said I have a past I don't want to talk about, and left it at that. She said she was lying to him because she was so embarrassed of her past self and was afraid he wouldn't want her anymore if he knew. She said she changed so much. It is a completely different person and wanted to put her past behind her. She didn't really change. Even if she was going to cover up her past, she didn't need to do it by painting your family's monsters. Next story is titled, I'm withholding wedding money unless my fiancé kicks her maid of honor out of the wedding party. Me, 26 male, and Morgan, 26 female, have been dating for three years and engaged now for six months. We were best friends in college and decided to start dating after we graduated. This whole argument is something that has festered for years. Morgan has a tight friend group of three other girls, been best friends since the fourth grade. Kyla and Maddie are awesome, and I have a good relationship with them slash their boyfriends. The last friend, on the other hand, Brooklyn, I can't stand. We have never liked each other. She's rude, entitled, and always thinks her input is needed in our relationship. She has told Morgan to break up with me multiple times, said our marriage would fail. The other friends aren't like this and have even told Brooklyn to mind her own business. She blames me for her relationship issues, too. She's a single mom, it is so because I introduced her to a guy I played softball with. I said he was a good guy. They dated, she got pregnant, and he split. 
Tom comes to set our guest list and Morgan informs me she wants three maid of honors. She couldn't choose between her friends, so she will split up the duties between them with Brooklyn doing the toast. I outright refused this, and I told her I didn't want Brooklyn in the wedding party at all. Morgan got upset, asking why. I told her I didn't want someone who has talked down to me slash our relationship being at a party, let alone giving a speech. Morgan said, it's my best friend. She's coming to my wedding. I said, fine, she can get an invite, but she isn't at the wedding party. I want to spend as little time with Brooklyn as I could and didn't want her at a rehearsal slash party buzz. I also don't want my wedding pictures to include someone I hate. Morgan won't accept this and tells me that Brooklyn will be in the wedding party. I say, fine then. My parents slash grandma's money isn't being used for it then. Backstory. My parents slash grandma were financing a lot of our wedding just like they did for my sister. They make good money and so does Morgan, but not enough to afford a kind of wedding we were planning. I said I'm not asking my family to finance a wedding where my feelings aren't being taken into consideration. Her friends and her extended family, her parents hate Brooklyn too, have called me a-hole for this ultimatum. Now for the top advice. I think your marriage is doomed before it starts. I hate everything about this train wreck. I wish I had advice for you, Opie. I really do. Sounds like she just wants a wedding, not a marriage. Opie ain't doing the best either. Bridesmaids are picked by the bride. This wouldn't be the first wedding with people who hate each other in it. For instance, nearly every divorced family. Opie should have handled this better. Marriage is a two-way street. You should consider rephrasing, I think. Focusing less on I hate her and more on it feels wrong when she has openly said she doesn't support our marriage. And maybe you also ought to volunteer yourself to have the conversation with Brooklyn, so the responsibility doesn't end up in your fiancé. Reassure her that you support her and understand she wants her friend at the wedding, but that it would upset you to have her stood up there with you when she has doomed your marriage to fail. Indeed, it is a matter of phrasing Opie. This lady has openly said your marriage will not work. What kind of toast does your fiancé expect her to give? You need to sit down and talk about what you want your marriage to look like with your fiancé. A wedding is just an expensive party. Just one day and it will not be a perfect one. A lot of things will go wrong. You also need to focus on what comes after, the life you're building together. Have you sat down and had important discussions about life? Kids? Religion? Major illness? Moving for a dream career? You can't assume you're both on the same page. You have to hash it out. You can Google important things to ask before marriage. You'll get many results with roughly the same 25-ish things you should discuss. The thing is that this is a bigger problem than Brooklyn being a maid of honor. She's a package deal with your future wife. She's guaranteed, and weddings bring out the absolute worst in people. You need to have a discussion about expectations now. You don't need a five-year plan or anything, but you need to know that you're on the same page. You're already starting your lives together off at a horrible place. Your wife has more loyalty to her friend that hates you, and you're not afraid to take away her dreams if you can use them as leverage. Is this a couple that is ready to face a lifetime of challenges together? This isn't a super challenging situation, and you two can't figure out how to face it head-on together. Consider postponing your wedding and getting premarital couples counseling. Last story. My girlfriend found a proposal ring that was not meant for her. My girlfriend and I are both 28 and have been in a relationship for four years. We have had our ups and downs, but we love each other very much. Early this year, we had an unplanned pregnancy that gave her a lot of medical issues that resulted in the loss of our son. We knew we would eventually get married, but after this, we were very sure that it's what we both want soon. Unfortunately, circumstances did not allow at that moment. My business couldn't survive last year, but my now job at hers can barely cover the minimum. But hey, story for another day. Now, the issue is my friend, who I will refer to as Frank, asked me to hide the ring he wanted to propose to his girlfriend with. I obliged and swore to not tell my girlfriend, as our girlfriends are pretty close and he wanted it to be a total surprise. Now, a few days ago, it was my girlfriend's birthday and her parents hosted a small lunch. Frank's girlfriend was there, but Frank was not. From my side, everything went well. But as the day concluded, my girlfriend was looking very withdrawn. When we got to our place, I asked her if everything was okay, and I wasn't prepared for what came. She apparently saw the ring and assumed it was for her, told her family and close friends. In short, everyone at her celebration assumed I was going to propose. 
Currently, everything has been clarified and my girlfriend understands. But I can see she's heartbroken. My question is how can I make it better for her? Is there anything I can do to help the situation? I feel really bad for her, especially since I really do want to marry her. I'm going to say what might end up being unpopular. Please do not give this girl a pity proposal. She deserves more than that. And specifically, she deserves for you to have done it 100% because it's what you wanted in spite of any circumstances, not because of the circumstances. Maybe rather get her a promise ring or other promise jewelry if you feel so strongly about marrying her. I agree with this entirely. Even just a nice date night, a conversation to reassure her that you do eventually want to marry her but when the time is right and you want it to be special. Be extra gentle with her and reassuring for a few weeks. Editing to add, maybe if you have to hide a ring for a friend, tell her. Even if your friend says not to, she's your partner. You wouldn't even need to say who. Hey, I want to warn you, I'm holding an engagement ring for someone. So, if you see it, that's what it is. I cannot understand the sheer number of people here telling you to propose. Absolutely the worst reaction to the situation. She will likely be insecure that she made you propose once emotions are settled. Top comment is totally right. But wanting to marry someone one day is not the same as being ready to propose. Oh, thanks. I know that if I was proposed to in this situation, it would 100% never sit right with me. And I might even say no because of it. Maybe she shouldn't have told everyone you were going to propose before you did? She's embarrassed a bit. I don't see how that is helpful at all. I hope you ask for advice. I know Reddit can be black and white, but this just seems like such an overreaction. She got excited and told people she found a ring. If I had found it, I probably would have assumed the same thing. People aren't perfect. Instead of shaming the girlfriend for making a mistake, he should just talk to her about it.